Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. In this episode, I bring you an unboxing of Alice in Wordland. This is the latest installment of Draw Lab Entertainment, the company that came with spells of dooms and mystic scrolls. And now they're betting for something completely different. Is this game going to be worth the amount of money that is going to cost you to get your hands on it? I'm about to show you. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. Draw of Entertainment has brought us some very light, very, very nice games in the past. Mystic Scrolls certainly fits that bill, and this Alice in Wordland. And please don't mistake it with Wonderland, which is what I did at the beginning. It's not Wonderland, it's Wordland. Uh, aims to bring something whimsical and silly for the whole family using words in a weird way. So, um, but what's inside? I'm, I'm quite excited to take a look at what's in here. Um, let's take a look at take the plastic off so we can get rid of reflections first because I know that they can be a bit annoying on camera so let's do that very quickly okay, okay so and let's put that here. right okay so the cover love it uh, very very cool very Alice in Wonderland uh, as you would expect with a very nice interpretation of the Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter uh, the tea party I don't know where the Cheshire Cat is but I'm sure it will be somewhere I bet um, I hope but it, it looks it looks very nice it looks like the sort of thing that you wouldn't mind putting in front of a child and why should you the back is very very simple and also very very promising with a nice qr code for the how to play video which is very good to have this is a game for three to eight players it plays in about 25 minutes and ages 10 plus so what's inside Nice little box, nothing special about it. It's not a great, huge, mega thick box, but it'll do the trick, as you can imagine. And this is a battery installation. Oh, we have something with batteries in this. Interesting indeed. So, rule book. Let's take a look, first of all, to the rule book. Again, we have the how to play video. This is a very good addition, I have to say. Very nice, love the color, love the atmosphere of the whole thing. These uh, photos are big enough, well, they could be a little bit bigger, but they are big enough. Very nice description of all the components and the game flow. And that's it. Done. Done. It's, that's the rules for the game. That's next to nothing. Brilliant. I like simple games. Excellent. So we have, oh, okay. So we have the characters. We have the Queen of Hearts. We have the White Rabbit. The Shesha Cat, the Twiddly Twins, Alice, and Two of Hearts. And then we have the Mad Hatter and the Caterpillar, which is very good. And three variants for a harder or an easier game, which is nice. Okay, so these are the rules. Simple enough. I like it. We have a little envelope with some icons. Let's get these. Oh, bang like that, that's a very sticky solo tape. And we have some tokens with points, I presume, with twos, fives, double sided, nicely printed, very shiny indeed, not laminated, so beware of your greasy fingers if you're eating anything, you know, like having a tea party while doing this game, but they come out very easily enough, and the print is vibrant and very, very clear. So that's all right. Another envelope, which I bet is going to have just as good sellotape. Oh no, this is, yeah. Hmm. That's uh, what happened when I opened my mouth. With the character cards. But I can imagine this means that you can choose them uh, you know, randomly, which is very good. Big cards, I have to say.
The insert, by the way, just to show you, means you can put place things in places. There's just about enough spacing here to sleeve these cards. I'm sure you want to do that. I don't know how useful this thing is going to be in the long run, but at least it's being very well thought out. And yes, I will take a look at the teapot later. So let's open this. Assuming I can easily with just my fingers. No, okay, fine. I'm not, not doing any question. By the way, if you hear any wailing, that's because my dog is being an idiot. Not because anybody's hurting him or anything at all. He just wants to play and doesn't understand that daddy has to work. That's puppies for you. And yep, yeah, I love him dearly, and I don't care about the way because I think so cute. Anyway, cards. Cards. Lots of cards. I mean, they're like, seriously, loads of cards. With uh, different colors, and then we have different letters. I presume there's going to be the whole alphabet in here some point and then we have words trains and toys and outer space uh, and there is uh, an icon to be used in how many players, three players, or whatever, I don't know what that means, but loads and loads and loads of letters, of words, I beg your pardon, which is very nice. It doesn't have a lot more to them, and not again, not laminated, so beware of uh, greasy fingers if you're having tea while you play the game. And then Missed. Goes here, and then different bags for the different letters of the alphabet, and then more cards with different numbers for points and times. Presume. There you go, and then we get the teapot, which I presume is going to come with our battery. Mm, so volume, two volume things here. And yeah, this is, yeah, I don't think it has a battery, so I can show it to you working. Oh, um, it comes with a little screw all the way, so it's not going to be easy to take the battery off, which I know some of you are going to be thinking, rah, rah, rah. but then there's a kid's game and that's a very, very good safety thing for children. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to put the batteries on in a minute so I can show these to you in B-roll. That's the term that we pros use. Um, in B-roll, uh, so you see exactly how this thing is meant to work and see what and hear what sound it makes. I'm quite curious. So uh, I will be right back. Give me, give me just a minute. I have placed a couple of batteries on this. Uh, and just to let you know, it comes with two different uh, switches here. One for 11 seconds, another one the middle is off, and the other one is for 15 seconds. And then uh, this one controls the volume to make it louder or uh, a bit softer. And, um, and now we are going to hear what uh, this thing sounds like. Um, just so you know, you may just about get some reminiscence of the Berliner Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, it's not them, uh, I can assure you. So this is what happens when you are playing the game, you have to reset the timer and the timer sounds like this. Again, okay. The other version is slightly longer. So this is what uh, this is going to be playing throughout the whole game. If there was any doubt that this is a kids-friendly game, this belt. This is a very kids-friendly 
game. Now, for adults, I don't know how drunk you want to be to actually be able to sustain. Uh, for a long period of time, by record for kids and families, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. So th this is this is really good fun, and uh, I'm very promising. So um, <laughs> yeah, I hope this does very very well indeed because as an educational game you know of, of words and uh, trying to talk with uh, without a cursed letter or what have you this is very cool so i'm looking forward to reading the rules uh and doing a video as to how it plays exactly so uh watch this space because this is good fun and i wish i could use this as my theme tune for the videos I'll talk to you soon.